This must be it. Be careful, Bruce. Even if you're really just a small part of my path. What are you talking about? You'll see what I mean soon, of course. They might be angry I brought you here, but when they understand why, they'll recognize my brilliance. <laughs> After all, I am uniquely qualified to see the big it. picture. It's often a struggle making people see that. Don't want him raising an alarm. Oh, I'm sure you can understand. Them. I get it. Sometimes <laughs> my mind <laughs> appears as Careful! I know. You brought this on yourselves. All of you. You government clods really thought you were smarter than me. It's clear you're in desperate need of some schooling. My friends will be here soon. I'd keep your mouths shut until then. Hostages first. When they're safe, I can find the missiles. Targeting online. Ready, Bruce. You can't possibly think clunking a few heads is enough to make me roll over. Oversized vermin! Batman! Batman! Agent Avesta. The floor! It's heating up! Playbook, Batman. I know all your shallow tricks. Maury was incapable of learning his lesson. I knew he'd lead you to me eventually. All part of the plan. The missiles. Bait. Just like the hostages were bait. I knew you couldn't bear to let these agents die. <laughs> you care too much about the little people. That makes you weak. I saw how you saved Maury. I saw how angry you got about what happened to Fox. Don't think my compassion means I won't hurt you. Don't think I won't beat you within an inch of your life. Hard to do that when you're in a cage. Even harder, when you're dead. My partners were supposed to be here to see this. I guess I can just show them the bodies. I'm going to ask you three questions. Get them wrong, one of these agents gets torn apart. You won't get away with this. You get them right? This happens! I designed this for you, Batman. Gotham's champion of justice will die in an unfair puzzle. Let's get started. We have a lot to get through. It's me you want, not Agent Avesta. Let her go. Oh no, she needs to be in there with you. You can handle the sonic blasts, but her... I estimate three blasts at most before her insides rupture. 
This one should be easy, Batman. Close to the heart. I solved a puzzle box for the Bat. Now I'm dead. And I mean dismembered. Closed casket for sure kind of dead. Who am I? If you know the answer, please say it. My colleagues will die otherwise. Speak up, Batman. Riddler, I swear. I will make you suffer for this. Oh, that's not very clever of you, Batman. Dead wrong. No, please. That wasn't his answer. Amanda, please. Please. Blake! Oh my god, Blake! Number two. Also, completely self-evident. I am black and blue and bleeding from the ears. Who am I? I think... I think he means me. Say it. I need an answer. Just say it. Avesta. The answer is Agent Avesta. You got it, Batman! Ha. Here's your prize! Enough, Riddler. You've made your point. Just one more, Batman. And then it'll all be over. I'll distract him. Just get us out of here. I'm the sharpest mind you'll ever meet. The original genius with Gotham at my feet. Who am I? You're Riddler. Riddler's the genius. Well done, Agent. You answered so quickly, you almost deserve not to get the blast! I'll fire one of the missiles. Use the bat cam to make it target the cage. Use Riddler's trap to protect Emon and myself from the explosion. I like what you're saying, Agent Avesta, but you're not the one I need to hear it from. Missile armed, ready to fire. Who's the genius, Batman? Who's on top of Gotham now? I want to hear it from you. I am. What are you doing? Don't you? You... You don't impress me. You might have bought yourself some time with that trick. But I have backup on the way. Who's the man who's got no time left? The Riddler. Thought you'd get such an easy one right. Those missiles are aimed right at the city. The answer is Batman.
be happening! Batman, I... Blake and I tracked Riddler's ship through the Port Authority logs. We thought we could bring him in ourselves. Riddler snatched us straight off the docks. I should have said no. Urged caution. And now... And now my callings are... All we did was hand Riddler more hostages. We only made things worse. You can't punish yourself for their loss. None of this is your fault. Thank you, Batman. Despite the cost, at least we've got Riddler in custody. It's over, Riddler. Look forward to a padded cell. Is this really a victory for you, Batman? You're the one in cuffs. Yeah, but you're the one that broke your precious rules. You let one agent die to save another. <laughs> well, that can't sit right with you. Can it? Must be an uncomfortable feeling. This entire twisted situation is your doing, Riddler. All blame is on you. And so are the consequences. Is it? You came at me, remember? Not the other way around. I pushed the Batman to his limits. Tested his precious code. Huh. And my comrades would have been impressed. Set this all up to show them. I thought they'd back me up, even if they didn't agree. They, they left me here to deal with you alone. They, they betrayed me. I look forward to meeting these friends of yours. They're next on my list. Good. They deserve it. Unless that white-faced prick set me up. Never told them to meet me here. He... I... They... They broke the pact. The pact? Lock the ship down, and radio for more medics. But... Riddler, is he... Oh, God damn it. Oh, this isn't good, Batman. The investigation is a dead end without a breathing suspect. We're in trouble. A lot of trouble. I have no idea how we're getting out of it. You don't have to worry, Jim. I'll take the heat for this. I appreciate the thought, but that ain't gonna cut it. Oh, Waller is gonna come down on us like a thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? I'm the whole goddamn hurricane. I'm about to blow both your asses off the side of this shit. This is a goddamn mess. Agent Blake is dead. Riddler is dead, and I don't know exactly how.
But I know you tampered with my suspect at the casino. Unless you expect me to believe that Maury's new neck brace is a fashion statement. Batman is clearly being misused as an asset to the GCPD. I'm taking direct control of law enforcement in Gotham, effective immediately. What? Gordon, you're being relieved of your stars. Bumped down to deputy ops. You can't demote me. I just did. Don't like it? Go cry to the governor. Gordon's been fighting the good fight for years. You're delusional if you think you can solve all our problems. You're the ones who are deluded. You're so busy gazing into each other's eyes, you can't see the big picture. Take some vacation days, Gordon. I've got sensitive case details to discuss with Batman. We're still in this together, Batman. This doesn't change a thing. This city is about to find itself in a crisis the likes of which it's never known. Riddler had a crew. Not just any crew. The worst criminal minds from all over the world, here in Gotham. You come across anything about them? I'm assuming you've heard of them by now. Let me know if you have anything to share. Riddler expected his friends to back him up tonight. Guess he wasn't as popular as he thought. That fits the theory we have. Evidence from his workshop suggests he was involved in a feud with another member of the group. Dr. Harleen Quinzel, former psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum. She's very elusive. Keeps her head down. Much more so than that show-off Riddler. He was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line. And knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce. past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler. Yeah, man. Dead. I remember that, With bro. That was the crazy. Only lead I had taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes. You and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. How? First thing you need to know. Does she know? I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. 
I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Bruce Wayne is my cover. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out, it's all over. I hear you loud and clear. But it didn't stop Bruce Wayne from dealing with a thug like Maury. In public. What the hell? Uh oh. Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons. This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Yeah, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under What you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Choked his ass out. <laughs> How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? A really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop in on these fools. Snap. We got Bane up in here. Okay. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. Oh, hit him with that smooth of the cut. Give me that. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. Hey, Chucky, how you doing, man? Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. 
And they're even the fiercest of <laughs> You will pay for that. Oh. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Well, come on, bring it then. Uh oh. I told you to get out of here, but I appreciate you coming back though. Get up. Man, we got our ass whooped. <laughs> oh, hey, Chucky, appreciate the follow, man. Push this thing off. Come on. You can right. do it. It's moving. Jesus Christ. Come on. Damn. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Yeah. Damn it. He saved my life. 
<clears throat> Batman? <laughs> it's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. I, who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. But you better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Oh, dang. I didn't see that. Uh, give us a second, will you? Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me, we're nothing like her. We're men of principle who still believe in the letter of the law. To hell with Waller. This is our city, and we're not going to let her. Yeah, take she's going to come us. in and <laughs> to run. Lucky back. to have you on my side. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. What happened? I got my ass whooped. I was like a scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment order. I've got to get going. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. You're welcome, Avesta. I'm glad I was able to be there. I wanted to make sure I said it to you. I know you called Gordon because you have history, but this is exactly what the Director and her resources are here for. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, no. 
I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war... It just continues to rise. I need... your strength right now. Of course. Sorry for not being my... resolute self. We've never gone up against anyone able to cause you so much harm. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that... melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. 
We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover, but I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes, and then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hid that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck, that's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. Yep, yep. Batman. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Lily, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels. No, Willie. He's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, now go ahead and finish, bro. Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. <laughs> you're I was finished. gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing bad ever happens to Bruce Wayne! Yeah, besides the whole dead parents thing. Bruce! Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. <laughs> We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John! What about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Willie. You're making wonderful progress. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler, and you were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I hated the guy, but 
Jeez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? Yes. After everything you know about <laughs> me, you really think I'd do that? I don't know, John. The way you were talking about him at the funeral and the way you're laughing now. It makes me wonder. Riddler was a terrible person, Bruce. I don't think it's wrong to want him dead. Doesn't mean I pulled the trigger, though. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd. Doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Mm. Love you. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce, friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. Yeah. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! <laughs> I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. Bro, chill. I think you're bothering my friend John. Stay out of this, Willie. I'm talking to John, not you. It looks like I better teach your pal here some manners. Oh. Uh -oh. Shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Just your rest. Yeah, you don't need no more to drink. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Lily had a problem. We took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling the on. <laughs> Better get out of here. <laughs> hey, handsome. Buy me a drink before you go. You're following me? Waller just wants to remind you. Stay on the clown and get to Bane. Whatever happens, keep your eye on the clowns. Bruce, be careful.
it, it's it's an odd feeling. At, at first, I, I, I thought I had some kind of disease, but uh, no, I, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me her name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Now, John, you know you stole this car. <laughs> Almost got it. God damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kind of fallen apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go. Uh oh. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Trust me, you don't want to do that. The mess will be awful. Maybe I like mess. No, no. Your brains are like red wine. The stain never comes out, no matter how hard you scrub. <laughs> Since when did you ever scrub a damn thing? I'm <laughs> just joshing you, rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. Let's put some music on. Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about, Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Oh, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off on the inside. Well, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad bad way you lost your folks. Wooden said you didn't want to meet. Now you want to. Bouncing around like a yo-yo don't exactly inspire confidence. What do you want with us? What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys. Oh, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushie. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? Nah, <laughs> I got it. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. I feel bad for him, you know? Coming out of Arkham all alone. He's not equipped to deal with the world. It's true. Poor old Puddin don't know a fiesta from a funeral. But there's a world full of charity cases out there. And you pick John. You got that look in your eye. The kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? 
Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's gonna take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? We were talking about Chipwood, about how worried we are for your well-being. Oh? Bruce feels bad for you, for, you know, having such a hard time with life. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. That's the old me, Bruce. The new me you won't have to feel sorry for. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. I ain't got cooties. Cross my heart. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'ma pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay. Here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me. I'll know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do what Whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Uh, Mr. Wayne, uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking, is everything okay? Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. <laughs> I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir.
Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. No! <laughs> you really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Going up, Brucey. <laughs> this ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. <laughs> Give me a hard time. I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in the way. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. Just don't hurt anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's in charge. How cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinger to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, friends from upstate, they don't get to Gotham often. Yeah, you know, we just couldn't miss getting a look inside this place. Oh? You should have told me you were coming in. I'd have had facilities set up a tour. Why don't you show us around? All we really want to see is the crater. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Your worker bees just mouth off whenever they want. I'm sorry, Harley. It won't happen again. That's for damn sure. There's no need for that. I already said it won't happen again. We'll... Uh, we'll talk about this later, Bruce. Mm -mm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. Wanna show me what else you can do with those hands? We could carve out some alone time. Just you and little old me. Let's just stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are people with purpose. We're here to get the phalanx. Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. For some reason, I don't think she likes him like that. <laughs> I think she's just using him. 
I present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself this time. <laughs> Glad you like it. Like it? Oh, no, this... This changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D wing. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. <laughs> Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. You're saying we can't get it open, then? Harley's not going to like that at all. Or you. Let, let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy! dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. I'm sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. All right, that's a start. Getting there. <laughs> One more partial print should do it. piece of metal. What's it do? I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell him what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out other nearby electronic devices. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Touch what I want when I want, Brucey boy. You knew what's best for you. You'd quit giving orders and find me that key.
looking for this. Tiffany. I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in. This, this is much worse than I thought. You're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I knew it! His tech. Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Regina. They'll do the same to you, or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce, no need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna wanna know about your, uh, friend here. What am I supposed to tell her? Just act natural. Natural? Yes. Natural. Acting normally. There's nothing wrong. Normality is a social construct, Bruce. It's a way of exerting control over the other. He means keep your mouth shut. I don't like lying to Harley, but I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is the phalanx key. You get me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it. Okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this lab. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side, remember? Come on, Bruce. You know how dangerous this tech could be in the wrong hands. Please, Tiffany. I've been honest with you every step of the way. Now I need you to trust me. Please. I better not see this on the evening news. Thank you. This, this makes things so much better for everyone. Thank you, Tiffany. You made the right call. Harley will be over the moon when I show her Joke, this. I'm sorry. If you mess things up with Stay Harley, bro, I'm sorry. I'm going to make a move. Gone. <laughs> Whatever. Bruce. You better know what you're doing. Took you long enough. I was starting to think you got sucked into a portal to another dimension or something. Your boys did good, you know. Made Mama proud. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. <laughs> Load that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. Bruce! Are you all right? I'm fine, Alfred. I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was... unexpected. Things could have gone so much worse. That you managed to keep both John and Tiffany quiet was... a masterstroke, Bruce. Still... That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy her? You know what she's like. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. You're right. I'll be as honest with Tiffany as I can. Very good. 
Uh, with regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation. And replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid she's going to be curious about your friends from upstate. She seemed to be thoroughly unsettled after your encounter. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce, I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Well, be careful and good luck. signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. Waller told me. Everything's got to go through her office now. Uh, the motion's still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. Yeah. The loss of a loved one can do that. I'd have to imagine it would. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. Jeb, live to fight another day. But for now, listen to her. Listening's the easy part. The hard part's tuning her out. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying this city gets under your skin, fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. You didn't choose this profession because it's easy. You do the job, or you don't. You're absolutely right. I guess you locals see it differently. 
agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood, wanted to see you, her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Her enthusiasm almost got her killed. It didn't, though. Because of you. That's the part you need to focus on. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. Mistakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. A vote of confidence. I'm touched, Waller. Credit where credit's due. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with you should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home, the end of the line. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you've needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. 
We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing ski. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. What the hell? John, turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop! Or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. I'm such a dumbass. I didn't even think to look at that. <laughs> well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us, back at your office. I don't blame you, after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. 
You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? That's sick. And just wrong. That's the thing about Freeze. You don't see wrong or right no more. Hey, Zay, I appreciate the follow. Is blessed Nora. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that blurry machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. Listen, I know about your father. About how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? You trying to get in my head, Brucey? Hey, my mistake. I didn't know it would upset you. Who says I'm upset? Hey, what's up? If I wanted to talk about my pop, I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah, still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again.
I heard about your wife, and I... Hear me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. I know pain. What it's like to lose a loved one. I can't imagine anyone knowing anything like what I've experienced. But I do know of your family tragedy. Perhaps you may know what it's like. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Oh, I'm not doing it for nothing. I expect a full return on my investment. <laughs> Practical. I respect that. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. Good luck. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. What the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. EMP shielding. This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. Hey, buddy! It's always so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before, and your office uh, making me look good. Hey, I'm just glad everything worked out. Did it ever? Handing that key over to Harley, giving her what she wanted. Pure ecstasy. It, yeah, it was a big moment for me. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? <laughs> when it looked like Bane might kill you, I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was intentional? <laughs> John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. 
then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham. Think she really brightens up the room. A thousand watt face. How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham, she found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. Did you have one here? That spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Thought you looked thirsty. Please, come. Riddler, he bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I'd bomb their building, kill their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. The payback I want is with the agency. They wronged me, and now I want to make it right. I'm sure you understand. Riddler studied this Waller woman, profiled her. She is arrogant, presumptuous, and she won't see what we have planned coming. If you want to get back at the Agency, we, at least, have that in common. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find, especially after Riddler's death. Yes, men you can trust, so hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Hey! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But... There can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. 
The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it! The package is moving. What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out. The aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands. Out. There may be more to win than first appeared. We can be trusted. You. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome and nuts, you guys. And where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can yeah! be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! 